Welcome to Tone Talk. How's everybody doing today? This is Antonio Moore coming to you from Tone Talks. I wanted to have a brief discussion about wealth and economics and tell you what I see going forward. So I just got back from the Progressive Baptist Conference. Again, that's the group that back Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Had a, a great time speaking to them in Philadelphia, uh, doing that with Jesse Jackson. Our next stop will be the Angela Project in Louisville. Please come out support September 14th. The illusion of inclusion will be talking about wealth, blackness, and what America holds going forward because I don't think it's a good picture and it's time to get honest. So we start off with, what, with something we left off with, which is the chart by Ray Diallo, one of the richest men in America, did an article on LinkedIn saying that inequality is the issue of our times. I don't think everybody understands because of what wealth gurus are telling you, because of what people who don't know enough about wealth are saying about what's coming for your children, for yourself in the next 10 years. I think America is on a bad path and the data only shows that. Again, we pull up the Diallo chart because the Diallo chart does a great job of showing wealth over time. It shows wealth over time. What it shows effectively is that the bottom 90% has no wealth. You cannot be in America without wealth. Now, it's important to understand that our group, being African Americans, are in the bottom 10th of the bottom 90. All the dreams of the top 0.1 or top 10% of America, million dollar dreams, lit in our pocket. So the Diallo chart shows that we've created a psyche built out of a, well, a, a time of wealth sharing, a time, time of progressive taxation, a time of, of, of affirmative action policies, of the New Deal for white America, and some blacks, few. And we're living in a moment like we're stabilizing. Let me show you what I mean by stabilizing. If this, if the way we live is as if this chart is about to do what I'm showing you right now. Stabilize out, stay at this level, highly unequal, but we'll find a way with 20% of the wealth. And understand, we're not black people splitting 20% of the wealth. We're splitting like a negative percentile amount of the wealth and hoping that credit gets us by. Understand that's the way we're living. What I propose is a set of policies that we saw, we've seen before in this country through the New Deal, through affirmative action, that inverts this chart, progressive taxation. What you see is contracts for, for, for African Americans, focused, targeted reparations. In effect, what I'm proposing is things that put this chart in reverse. That again, invert this chart in the favor of the middle and the working poor. In that scenario, this chart would do what I show here, where the bottom 90% share would go up of the wealth and the top point one share will go down the problem we have right now this is the issue I don't care what wealth guru teaches you what class about buying real estate or, or buying cryptocurrency you gotta follow the media you gotta follow the news you have to understand the reality of your moment with Trump's election he instituted one of the most regressive set of taxes we've seen in the history of this nation. That will affect you. In the last session of the Supreme Court, major decisions were made that will devastatingly impact your life. Do you know about those decisions? I'm gonna share a couple of those things with you, but this is only a couple. And I only project more of these type of major ground shifting seismic decisions coming down the pipe. There's no cryptocurrency, no Tulsa real estate, no, no Bitcoin, no anything that's going to change this. And I'm telling you now so you can be prepared in case you didn't watch the news and you didn't know that they're not about to give money for dependents no more. One head of household. No extra important for you to understand the framework of the bottom 90. This group that doesn't really have that much of the wealth. Right now, that group shares about 20% of the wealth. I, I easily can see it going to 15 or 14. At some point, there's a break point where you'll d see that impact in your life and the ability for you to be able to provide your, for your kids. I mean, where, where schools start to charge real money that you don't have. With the expectation that if, if your kids are, are supposed to be in a certain class of America, you're supposed to have that wealth. We see that in the Bay right now, where to get advanced math, you need to be in an advanced charter school. 
and an advanced charter school takes advanced money. Black folks don't have that money. They said $117,000 isn't enough to cut it in, in the Bay, and we know that from the national data, only 5% of black families even make that. This is the reality of where we're going. This is the reality of where we're at. I keep saying to you guys, you got to stop listening to people who don't know what they're talking about. What do I mean? Ask that person if they're educated. Ask that person if they're educated by their grandmama. Again, look at the Diallo chart. What can somebody that was born in 1964 live their life when this chart is at its peak? tell you about this moment today. So I look at this thing and I look at U.S. tax reform and I have to say this, this, this thing is not going to be pretty. I mean this is something that's set for the next five maybe even 10 or 15 years unless there's a drastic change with the Democratic Party's hold on government. And what, it, what, what I want you to do is read this article called U.S. tax reform will increase poverty and inequality in it, the author kind of just summarizes this thing so you can see it a little easier and understand the impact. The first, of course, I said to you before is there's not going to be dependents anymore. You get the first dependent as a head of household, then there's no additional dependents. I don't think we understand the drastic impact that has on the way that black families were structured around, you know, taking in like family members based on being a dependent. Come on whether we understand the impact that's going to have on your return for all you mothers and fathers that are out there you need to start doing the numbers don't wait till december to find out now in addition you're going to see massive drawbacks in programs i believe i believe you're going to see programs cut in a way that we haven't seen really since reagan and i don't think everyone is really prepared for it so Coming back to the tax reform bill, what is it? The bill cuts the federal corporate income tax rate from 35% to 21%. How does it impact poverty and equality? This shifts the tax burden from the shareholders of U.S. companies to individual U.S. taxpayers and small businesses. While it may jolt the economy in the short term, it will raise the national debt and interest payments and will eventually have to be paid by cuts in international assistance and public services on which poor people and middle class people depend. Official cost for the US, from the U.S. Treasury is $1.3 billion over 10 years. How is it going to be gained? Other countries are likely to decrease their tax rates as well to remain competitive in a global race to the bottom. Wealth is going to be transferred from workers to shareholders throughout the world, and so inequality will rise everywhere. You know, I, I, I think that part of the problem is that we have a presumption that Hope and prayer is going to be enough in a world that's telling us what's, what it's about to become. Thomas Piketty has said it, author of, 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 of uh, Capital. Thomas Piketty has said it, author of Capital in the 21st Century. America is the most unequal place possibly in modern history. Definitely since the Gilded Age. Pulling up this chart just to kind of give you context. You look at this chart, what you see is that the bottom 40% in America only has negative 0.1% of the wealth. Let me say that again. The bottom 40% only has negative 0.1% of the wealth. Well, our whole group is, as African Americans is almost in the bottom of the bottom 40. You can't not have any wealth and be here. So what does it take to be at the top of the bottom 40 or outside of it? So you can know if you are. You need about $90,000 in worth and the household net worth. How many of you and your family and friends are worth a net $90,000? This is normal American life, especially if you went to college. The fact that you might not know anybody who's worth a net $90,000 tells you you're living outside of America in America. I don't think African Americans understand it. They watching all these gurus and these parties and these galas and these events and these conferences. None of that matters. The AME can get together as much as they want with black banks. They ain't going to never have no wealth. Not without transformative government. I'm saying this to you not to be dark, but just to tell you the truth. It's, it's what it is. The Supreme Court decisions that came down this last session will devastate workers. You got to understand the number one employer of African Americans is the government. Particularly the post office is, one, is number one. 
but government as a whole. The reason why is because we've never been treated fairly in the private sector. Well, what happens when you're unfairly treated in the public sector? Come on. I don't think we understand, and you need to read these articles that I'm sharing with you. You don't have to. You're going to feel them. Supreme Court delivers a sharp blow to labor unions. This is the decision that came down in the last month. The Supreme Court dealt a major blow on Wednesday to organize labor by a 5-4 to four vote with the more conservative justices in the majority court. The court ruled that government workers who choose not to join unions may not be required to help pay for collective bargaining. So that means, if, see, up until this point, these unions were able to be strong because even if people were not smart enough to opt in for themselves, meaning I don't want to be part of the union but I need health care, I need retirement, you still had to pay into the union if the union received the benefit for the collective. Well, now you can opt out. That means that the unions will not have enough funds to fight for the people. I give it a 24-month window. They've already started this in many of the, uh, of the agencies across this nation. They already did it here in the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. They already did it in New Hampshire. Like, they've already started opting out. I give it a 24-month window where these unions don't have enough wealth, enough money in their in they coffers to fight for the people that, that need it most. Do we understand the impact that has on African Americans particularly? Are we galvanizing ourselves and joining ourselves to be able to say we as African Americans will not opt out of our unions? Or are we sitting by and watching Housewives tonight? Or whatever else is on TV? Going to the On The Run 2 tour? It's okay. The world is coming. Are we sitting up sharing videos of people and uh, buying up property in Tulsa? None of that matters. The only thing that matters, the only thing that matters is to become aware of the reality that there's a national fight to make sure you have nothing. Individual, small, little gains will not save a black America that needs transformative changes. That is the only answer to change this Diallo chart where it goes up instead of down for the bottom 90%. I keep telling you guys, you look at the, the, the next article I'm going to share, which you came out of the Supreme Court as well. You, the Supreme Court sides with companies over arbitration agreements. Again, a 5-4 ruling. Again, a 5-4 ruling. And know this. They just got a locked-in conservative justice that will change this court for the next 25 to 30 years and may get a second where it goes 6-3. Do we understand that the decisions as they come up will go conservative swing and change the landscape of this country? Do you know the power of the Supreme Court? You can't live here and play no more. Game time is over. Your kids can starve or eat. And right now they are on a pathway to starve, leaving college only to struggle and drive Uber, to move back home with you. You have no job for them. You have no wealth for them. And you are playing around thinking that this is about individual classes on real estate and Bitcoins. I'm, trying, I'm here to tell you that's an illusion. Wealth begets wealth. You can read the report that we did. Me, Sandy, Darity, Dark Hamilton, and Price and others. Undercapitalized businesses ain't no business at all. 90% of black businesses ain't got no employees. 98% of female black led businesses have no employees. A sign of an undercapitalization. A sign of the fact that really you ain't no business, you a hobby. Come on. I ain't saying that if it's just you, you can't be a business. But there's a large indicator that you're probably not profitable. That Uber, you're not making no 19 an hour when you take out everything that you need to take out. You're probably making 3 or $4 an hour. That's not enough to be here. In America, this decision that came down only further devastates the impact that you're able to have on, on, on jobs, on corporations, to make sure you're treated fairly as a worker. Again, the Supreme Court sides with companies over arbitration agreements. On, uh, on May 21st, the Supreme Court issued an employer-friendly ruling that could affect the rights of at least 25 million American workers. In a 5-4 split, 
the ideo along the ideological lines, the court ruled that companies may use arbitration clauses in employment contracts to prevent workers from banding together in lawsuits over workplace disputes. Understand what this means. That means that they could not, before this decision, put a sheet in front of you to say, if you're going to work for me, you got to arbitrate your issues. Understand that an arbitrator is somebody who has to be paid. So either you're going to pay it or the company going to pay it. You don't have no money to pay $25,000, $30,000 to no arbitrator to make no decision. Now, in addition, if the company pays, who do you think the arbitrator is going to side with? Now, the last thing is the most important. You got to now put your name on it. It's not collective. It doesn't make sense for an attorney to represent you then. So you probably have to represent yourself. Collective action has just been gutted. From unions to arbitration clauses, and you got to know this. I just came from Philadelphia, just like I saw in Louisville, just like I saw in St. Louis, and black people, particularly black males, are starving in the streets. We need to galvanize. I don't know what everybody else is thinking or living on, but I tell you right now, this world is coming. And I'm just here to tell you that when I look at this Diallo chart, it's not stabilizing. It's not turning in our favor. In effect, what it's actually doing is going in the inverse. When you look at other charts that compare income, the other chart is about wealth, which is the most important indicator of a familial stability. But on income, no, America has an income situation that makes labor, like as we work, you gotta make like $200,000 to dig yourself into the, into the bottom of the upper middle. That's it, what is it, 0.3% of black families make more than 200,000? That's crazy. It should never happen. That's not what your grandmama had to do. Understand that the top 0.1% in America is taking home all the income. They have all the wealth and they're taking all the income. That's not happening in Europe. Look at the chart that I'm showing you. The point of, 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 of my video is really to give you an awakening. To make you understand that the economic landscape that I told you several years ago is changing. And it's not changing in your favor. Become aware, read these articles, share this video, and let's start galvanizing. Because if we don't, we all may be taken under. Again, this is Tone Talks. Please subscribe and donate at ToneTalks.org. Share this video. Let's get the dialogue going. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in to Tone Talks.